All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for hopping on our Tuesday night team connect. So tonight is a little different. Um, we were sharing some tips with each other. And I realized that there are people on this team who are doing amazing things and have awesome things that they can share. It does not just have to come from me all the time or from Amber or, you know, it, we all are doing things. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm still admitting people. We're all doing things that are helping to grow our teams and everyone has unique giftings and unique things that they do that we can all learn from. So I asked a few people if they would just share what we're calling like some top tips um, that can just benefit us all and help us to do better and grow our businesses. So you're going to want to grab a notebook, a piece of paper, so you can write down these tips. Um, and the first one I asked is Stephanie Reif. So she's on here and she is such a sweet soul. She's on vacation. She's at Kalahari and she hopped on to share her tips with us. So I said, I'll let you go first and then you can go do your family thing. So Steph is going to tell us a little bit about what she does for retention. And I just have to shout her out because Victoria and I were on a call with Stephanie because she has some big goals. And I just took a look at her like back office and her team. And I'm like, girl, you are like the retention queen. Every person that you've signed up has their subscription on. Like your team is so consistent, literally never seen anything like it. So I was like, Steph, tell us what you do uh, because we need to learn from you. So go ahead, Steph. Well, thank you. Um, I was so excited when Brittany asked me um, to share some tips with you, but then I was like, me, I don't do anything special. I just do whatever Victoria and Brittany tell me to do. <laughs> So um, I was super excited when I was asked. Um, so a couple of things, I guess, that I do that seem to help. Um, one, when they're a newbie, uh, I just stay in touch within that first month. I'm probably talking to them once, maybe twice a week, just to see how they're doing, troubleshooting, how they're feeling, things like that. Um, and then once they're established, I probably touch base with them twice a month, I would say at least, um, about Plexus. And then I really just grow a relationship with them um, outside of Plexus, just asking them things about their life or something they posted about um, on Facebook. So um, that's pretty much what I do. And that's what I've been doing. The second thing is um, I created a um, Facebook page just for my wholesalers. Um, I just wanted it to be very personal and intimate. Um, now I do have teams on the Maids of Thrive um, page. It's just at a much smaller scale. I just felt like things that were coming from me would be more personal to them. Um, so I just do things, um, product of the month. Um, just that's my place to like share things instead of doing individual messages. I just post it on there. And then it's almost like a, um, informal discussion. So if they want to, you know, say something they can, that way it's no pressure. If I do it in a um, and messenger or through a text. Um, so that seems to help. Um, yeah, that's what I do. That's all I got. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Awesome. So staying in touch, connecting, and I love that it's not just Plexus, but connecting about their life, connecting on a personal level, asking about non Plexus thing. Um, so Suzanne's asking, is that a group? It's a Facebook group, right? Not a group it's, chat, a group. It's just the group page. Yes. That okay. I've just created. Right. And I think a lot of us have um, chats for our like level one wholesaler people. And I think either way works great, but just having like that little sense of community. Um, and then, yeah, like whether it's a chat or a group, being able for people to like get information, engage with you. And then also like not using that as an excuse to not connect with them personally, also connecting with them on a personal level and checking in with them. So I love that stuff. Thank, thank yeah. you so much for sharing. And thanks welcome. for being a little time. And I look Thank you. And I look forward to um, watching the um, recording. <laughs> so, okay. We'll see you guys. Go enjoy. Go enjoy. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right. Next person to share a top tip is Paulina. Hey, Miss Paulina. I see your face. Um, so, I asked her to share a little bit about just IPA, which is income producing activity, if you guys aren't familiar with that term, and sending messages and kind of the shift she's made recently. So, take it away, Paulina. Hi, everybody. Um, so definitely, yes, the APA challenge helped me tremendously. Um, I would have never set goals for myself that way. So it helped me um, with 
a lot of the tasks that I was asked to do or that we were asked to do, um, reaching out to those that we don't speak to all the time is very scary. Um, but the IPA challenge definitely helped me with that. Um, to be able to show that I actually did the work instead of it just being me and saying I did it, I had to show that I did it. So it helped me kind of like, I had to push forward. I was showing you that I did. Um, so by doing that, I was able to reach out to 12 different people that I never thought I would. And I've been able to have a conversation with all of them. Um, all of them did not say yes, but I also have a relationship with them. So that was really cool. I also encourage um, the Zoom calls with your sponsors and higher up. So I did that with Shannon and Britt right in the beginning of, January, I guess, was like the second week. And that really boosted my confidence. Um, I am the type of person, I don't know if any of you are that way, but I tend to overthink a lot. And talking to them, my goals, um, what scares me, what excites me. So they help pump me up and help me look for those small goals because small goals end up getting bigger, correct? So that helped me out. Um, I have to also say the three-way conversations. Um, I was able to kind of start fresh. Um, I was able to sign ambassador up and I did the three-way conversation with Shannon. Um, and she actually, um, this girl like didn't respond heavily but responded and was excited and it was a really good start. Um, also <clears throat> the Zoom, these meetings I don't make all the time but I find that when I do, it keeps me excited. Um, you girls keep me excited. Um, and the power half hour, that has really done it for me. <laughs> um, I've gotten on maybe four times, but something about just everybody being exciting, like excited, it really boosts my confidence and makes me believe that I can do those scary things and I can do all the things. Um, but I agree with Stephanie as well. Um, I do start a personal relationship with everybody. Um, I think that's really important first, um, just check in, how are you doing? And I don't bring plexus up first. I just generally care about how you are and how was, you know, a birthday. And then we get into talking to a group messenger. And I think that that's a lot. And I also invite um, like my number ones who don't have a lot of um, people that are maybe underneath them. I tell them to invite them to that chat until they grow you know, bigger and are more confident. So I don't know, I guess that's it too. The, th the three way conversations and the Zoom calls and the IPA really pushed me and I really can't wait for another IPA challenge. It really helped me. So that's yeah. it, I guess. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Paulina. Yes, Sarah and Robin did an amazing job with the IPA challenge and I totally agree when you have to show your work and like that accountability is there and you have a partner who's checking in on you like it really changes the game I know I'm like I'm showing up because I don't want to let Stephanie down right she's she's watching me and I don't want to let Sarah and Robin down so it does make a huge difference um I totally agree with the three-way chats it has been really great and like you said like starting fresh like even going back and you know, people that have been with us for a while, starting a three-way chat and saying like, hey, I never introduced you to my friend, Amber, like she does this with me, you know, and then going into the three-way chat. Um, and yeah, guys, the power half hours that are every morning, Monday through Friday are amazing. And I fought it for a long time because it's a hard time of day for me. We're in like homeschool, like prime time, but I just committed to at least three days a week hopping on there. And they are so good because we know, you know, we need to be sending messages. We need to be posting all those things. But the power half hours help get you in the right mindset so that those things then are so much easier to do because you're excited and fired up. And yes, they record them every day. So if 1030, like you're at work, there's no way you can watch them at night. You can watch them the next morning, whatever. Um, they are so, so good. So thank you, Paulina. Awesome tips. I love that. And I've loved seeing your personal growth. Um, and those Zoom calls are available to everyone. So if you want to do a coaching call, literally, anyone on our team. I am happy. I love, love doing them. Okay. I'm going to ask Nicole, you're on here, right? Nicole to give us a top tip. We have been noticing Nicole just like crushing it with, um, getting people to do shout out posts, like new people on her team, um, just showing up and doing shout out posts. So I asked if she would share what she's doing. So go ahead, Nicole. 
Hello, ladies. Um, OK, so something that I've changed this month is I am doing get your products paid for group. Um, I know in the past you. Um, I can't hear you, Nicole. I think you muted. <laughs> there you go. Can you hear me now? Could you hear me at all? I heard get your products paid for group and then you went silent. Okay. Okay. Um, so I started a get your products paid for group and part of that is doing a shout out post. So they have to do that in order to get in, entered into the drawing um, to get like an Amazon card or whatever it may be. And then even the new people, I have not been hesitating to ask for shout out posts. I've been really bold and pretty much just saying like everyone needs these products. Like there's literally something for everyone. Would you be willing to make $300 and um, do a shout out post if, you know, three people were to join you just because you're sharing? And I've had a lot of success with that. Um, and many people are joining and they have to get their products paid for. Like they're telling me this before they even start. So that has been very helpful and obviously good for me with the shout out posts. So that is it. Just being bold for sure. Yes. Okay. Awesome. So getting her people in a group chat that want to get their products paid for and being bold, asking for a shout out. And I even told you today, like, I love how bold you're showing up. You're just like, mm -hmm. get people on the phone, like have a real conversation. And it makes a huge mm -hmm. difference because when your posture is bold and confident, it makes people feel bold and confident. <laughs> you know, when you're like, yeah. well, if you want, you know, maybe we could post. Mm -hmm. They're like, I'm not doing that. But when we're like, you're going to do this, it's great. <laughs> get mm -hmm. your products for um yeah let me go to alicia's question how does the get your products paid for group um work run yeah so it's like what i mean nicole you can answer that like what do you give them to do so i give them an action item every day so it started out with um make a list of 20 and then i shared um what products would help with what to kind of you know spur their um, memory of different people that, you know, something could help with. And then every day after that, it's um, a post or look, read a testimony um, because of Plexus video, a diamond doc. I like, for example, today I put on um, my group to join the call tonight. No one is on, but I will share um, in the link as or after, you know, so they can listen to the recording. But just different things for them to do every day to constantly be thinking of um, who to reach out to and how to share the business or how to get their products paid for. Awesome. I love it. Because sometimes people want to, but they're not sure what to do. Mm -hmm. So when you give them the action item, someone who's motivated mm -hmm. and wants to do it will be like, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. So it's been really good. Nicole's chat is great. Victoria has one going. It's been really good as well. I'm just like a little fly on the wall watching, but I'm there for support and they are doing amazing things. So thank you, Nicole. That's awesome. It's mm -hmm. really working for your people because mm -hmm. you're giving them the tools that they need. So I love that. Um, okay. Last but not least, I asked um, my mom, Kim, who is on here, hey, if um, she would share a little bit about enrolling and recruiting because she has been just so consistent with adding new ambassadors every month, like sometimes six a month or at least four a month. So she has just grown her team incredibly um, in the past six months. And so I asked if she would share some tips on how she reaches out to people and seals the deal. So go ahead, mom. And me, okay. Um, I was excited when you asked because it helped me actually to review like what I actually do. And two of the things that I really wanna share with you is intentional posting is one thing and on Instagram and Facebook and then intentional stories. And I don't just post them and then like, oh, see what the comments and everything are. I actually look at each person that likes it or loves it. And I go back and I reach out to people who may have not, may I may not have reached out to before. Like um, just last week, last Friday, um, I put a lean post up 
about how much I love lean. Paul and I both do it every morning, blah, blah, blah. And I went back over it that night and a friend from New Jersey had liked it. And she was um, like a sweet acquaintance I met at Starbucks. So I really hadn't talked to her. She didn't even know I had moved away. So I'm like, hey, Barb, I saw you liked my post. Is, are there any healthy goals that you're working on that I could help you with? And long story short, she's now an ambassador. She signed up because she really gained weight over um, the time that uh, COVID was happening. We were all at home. And she thought the shakes was a great idea, but I was able to introduce to her the Renew You pack and it's the shakes, the energy drink and the slim. So, and I'm keeping in touch with her. I've talked to her um, twice since last Friday and she's doing great, loving it. Um, the other thing is, is, I think I shared this before, but this has been really huge, is watching your stories to see who stays on for all the bars. Like you'll have 40 people and then it goes down to 37 and then it's 20, you know, that those people that stay on for the last um, picture, the last frame of your story, they have watched like a whole advertisement for Plexus. And so those are the people that you really want to reach out to like, hey, I saw your interest. Is there anything you're working on that I could help you with? I have these amazing products, you know what to say. And um, that's just a really cool way to reach out. And I've gotten a lot of recruits from that. Also something Angela Beller um, touched on last week during the Power Half Hour is um, nurturing. And I kind of do that naturally because I really care about people. And you guys know I love all of you. But especially just um, someone says, oh, I have stomach problems too, but nothing really helps. I'm really skeptical. Um, just staying with that person. And I have a, for example, um, with Sherry Howard, um, that's now an ambassador. I talked to her for six months and I really would be like, oh, Sherry again, you know, but I care about her and I want her to be healthy. So finally, she's like, I'm doing it. And she got, she tried Plexus. Well, I think it was Monday night. I was checking in with her to see how she's doing. And she's like, I'm dying. I ran out of my slim and I made my husband go on and change my order so that it would be tomorrow. It comes tomorrow instead of the 23rd. And I was like, hey girl, that's great. Would you be willing to share that on Facebook? Book, how much you've really noticed that you went without it for a few days and now you really your body really needs it and how much better you feel and she did this sweet little post about I trusted my friend Kim and now I feel so good and I'm talking to five people now that looked at that post and she doesn't want to walk them through but I'm like we're doing this and they're going to sign up under you and you're going to go silver and you're going to get, you know, your products paid for. So just even staying exciting with people really helps too, because this is a super exciting business and we're helping people and we feel better. And it's like, I can't keep it to myself. So I'll stop there. Thank you. So good. Okay. So intentional posting intentional stories, looking at who views your stories all the way to the end and putting those people on your list to reach out to because they're interested. Um, and if you guys aren't familiar with it, there is a group called One Plexus Instagram Stories. And I know um, Kim uses a lot of them. A lot of us use them because they're just like pre-made, beautiful. And you can search that group for like, I want a lean story. I want an active story. I want a postpartum story. And you can put it all the way through. Um, so you can check out that group if you don't want to have to create, you know, a ton of stories on your own and then nurturing people through the process, because yeah, you have people come back after six months, after a year, after two years, we're in this for the long haul. Um, and loving people through is where it's at. And that comes back to love, serve, grow, right? The way that we grow is by loving and serving. Um, and yeah, mom, everyone's saying you just radiate your passion. And I think that comes off when you are talking to people about Plexus, they know that you truly care and that goes a super long way. So thank you so much for sharing. We have a couple of minutes left. I wanted to open it up to everybody. If anyone feels like they have something that is just working that you wanna share with the group, please feel free to unmute and share. Um, you know, I can talk for a few more minutes, but I would love to hear if anyone wants to share anything. So feel free to unmute. And don't be scared, like something really simple can like be groundbreaking for uh, <laughs> someone else, you know, it's just something they hadn't thought of before. 
All right, Victoria called out Suzanne or Kristen. Do either of you want to share? <laughs> I'm just, okay, I'm, I'm like in the dark bedroom and my husband's sleeping, but oh. <laughs> um, I just have been relationship building the last several months and not necessarily anything to do with plexus. Um, but this month I have like so much interest because I've been intentionally messaging them with problems they've brought to my attention the last three or four months mm -hmm. and trying to um, invite to the wellness event and use that to my advantage and be like, hey, like they will give you all the information. You just have to ask your questions and someone will answer it. Um, but mm -hmm. making it really personalized, I've really had good feedback and response to um, sending invitations. And same with my mom. Um, my mom is now six months into being consistent on Plexus and has seen amazing results. And all her friends are like, what are you doing? And she has like so much interest now just sticking with it, the consistency, it, it takes time. Like I thought, you know, I think I came into this thinking, oh, like I'll be emerald in a year. And I was like, okay, well, that's probably not realistic, but I still like want to build my uh, business, but I, I've taken more of a personal approach to the business, if that makes sense. Yes, definitely. Okay. So relationship building is key. Um, yeah, I agree with Victoria. You can and will be emerald. Um, sometimes the time frame shifts a little bit, but building relationships is always, always beneficial. Um, and when you're messaging with people and you're like in Facebook Messenger, they're going to look at your story. They're going to go check they're, You're going to pop up in their news feed. So sometimes you don't even have to say anything. They're going to automatically see what you're doing. If you're showing up on social media, you know, about your health journey about Plexus. So I love that relationship building is awesome. And then it's an easy segue to invite people to events, right? So like the love your gut happening this Saturday, if you're already chatting with someone, it's so easy to be like, Hey, you should check out this thing. My team's doing right. It doesn't have to be like this awkward, like join my team now thing. It's just like an open invitation. Um, Kristen, did you want to share anything? I saw you unmute for a hot second there. <laughs> oh, I can't hear you. I don't know why you're unmuted. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Kristen, I just see your hand moving, but I can't hear you. That's okay. You're going to type it out. Okay. <laughs> Kristen's going to type out a tip. Okay. While Kristen types her tip, well, let me ask anyone else have anything they want to share now or never. <laughs> Can I just say real quick when I triggered a thought about um, goals and adjusting your timeline. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things for me, as far as like mindset goes, as far like with the tip, I have learned that it's okay, like you said, to adjust your timeline. Like I just need to, and Alita has been saying this over and over recently about enjoy the journey. It's not about getting to the top right away. It's about the process and who you become along the way. And that just like mm -hmm. sticks with me. And I'm like, okay, this is a journey. Like I I am claiming, and Cheryl's mentioning, mentioning this the other day too, on the power half hour but I cannot talk power half hour about like, I am a network marketer. Like I am a lifer and I, I've just been like, okay, this is it. I'm doing this and it's okay because I'm just going to keep being consistent and keep helping my team and show up. And that like takes the stress out of it because I feel like when I was so focused on getting to a certain place, I was stressed. It wasn't fun, but now it's like, it's fun. And I'm okay with just helping my team and like, just enjoying the journey. So anyway. Yes, yes. Huge. Yeah, it is. And that's the thing. Like when you have a long-term mindset, like I'm going to reach the goal. If it takes 12 months or 24 or 36 or five years, whatever, like I'm working towards a goal. And it's also about like who you're bringing with you along the way. Right. So in order to grow, like you're helping others grow. And that's a huge part of enjoying the process is just being able to bring people along with you. Um, so I'm going to give my super practical top tip and I'm like the most boring person, but I'm all about like, tell me the things like the practical things. Like I know you need the mindset, but here's my top tip that has really changed my business. And you guys are going to roll your eyes when I lift this thing up. 
<laughs> you know, I'm a planner, 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 planner. Okay. So this is what changed my business setting, like prepping my IPA for the week on Sundays, taking one or two hours Sunday afternoon. And I have, I like, I plan out the week and I have a couple different things that I do. I have a spot that says social. So every day I have a little spot that says social and I write down what I want to post about on social media. Even if it's just an idea or like a skeleton outline, um, there's a spot for social. New, I'm jotting down the new people I'm reaching out to that are not currently on my team that I'm going to talk to, whether it's relationship build, invite to an event, or just tell them, hey, I think you'd be amazing at the business. Follow up with my current team, current customers. So I go through my back office. I make sure that everyone who's in my level one downline um, is getting reached out to at least twice a month. So every week I'm putting multiple names on each day of the week for just checking in, making sure people know before their subscriptions hit, um, you know, new people I'm checking in a lot to make sure they're good with their product routine. And then I have another spot that says tap rooting, where I just put TR. Um, and that is reaching into the lower levels of your team to build relationships and get to know people. Now, if you're brand new, that won't apply yet. You're going to focus more on like the new reach outs because you're trying to grow. Um, but once you have people under you on your team, you want to do this tap rooting or call it whatever you want connecting, relationship building. Like, honestly, that's how I got to know Victoria. Um, Victoria was my level three, right? So if you're not checking in with your level threes, you're missing out on a huge opportunity. I did not know Victoria at all. I had um, Adam's aunt under me and she had signed up her daughter-in-law. Neither of them did the business. The daughter-in-law just shared with Victoria. And I knew that those two people under me weren't working the business. So I reached out and said, hey, Victoria, I'm Brittany, yada, yada, yada. And I basically asked like, hey, are you interested in the business aspect of Flexus? And she was like, maybe, okay. And here she is almost Emerald, right? Like you never know, exactly, Victoria, you never know who on your team might be interested in doing a little bit more or getting their products paid for, or just like you wanna connect with them. Like even if Victoria hadn't become a business builder, I was able to help her with her triplex routine and like coaching her through detox and all of that stuff. So every day, social, new, follow-up, tap rooting. Um, that has been huge and planning that out ahead of time instead of sitting down like Monday morning, 5.30 in the morning, like, oh, who am I gonna reach out to you? Like, boom, it's there. And then you can just do your IPA super fast. So if you are one of those like time efficient, I need to know what to do. That is my top tip that has been super helpful. So wanted to share that with you guys. Um, thank you so much, everyone who shared. I really appreciate it. And I think we all grabbed some really helpful tips. Do we want to read what Kristen said really fast? Oh, yes. Roll up. It's good. Okay. It's nothing big, but it's taken a long time for me to reach this point. But just treating my business like a business. I realized that with my other two jobs, I was doing certain things every single day, fitness too. So why wouldn't I treat Plexus the same way? Yes, Kristen, that's so good and so true. So when you treat your business like a business, it pays you like a business. When you treat your business like a hobby, it pays you like a hobby. And hobbies generally cost you money. They don't make you money, right? Like you might love it, right? I love skiing. It's expensive. <laughs> so you don't want Plexus to be a hobby. You want to love it. But when you treat it like a business, you'll get paid like a business. That's so true. Little consistent actions every day. I love that, Kristen. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. Let me stop this recording. And